Hello again, my friends. It's good to see you here. I'm so glad you're back to join me with another video. This time, we have got a fountain. Look at this. This is awesome. Really simple to do. Didn't take too much time, but it looks great. And once again, this is going to be a piece in a much larger project. I think you kind of see where I'm going with this already. But this was really fun really great to, to make. So why don't we get into the video and I'll show you how I did it. All right, everybody. So as you can see here, I started off with some XPS foam and this is just scrap foam. I have a bin full of this, a huge bin full of scrap foam. So I'm really focusing on trying to use up this scrap stuff. So textured it with tin foil <clears throat> and with uh, another roller that I made, another texture roller, did that and basically just hot glued it together. This is the column for the fountain. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple. A couple of square pieces stacked and a square column. That's really all it was. Uh, for the for the base, was just uh, a circle cut out and then used a thin piece to go around to make the actual well or the actual container of the fountain. So here I am just drawing out uh, a topper for the column. And I really didn't know what to do with this. Uh, I had a lot of options. I had, you know, 3D print something or look through all my bits and pieces box and see, you know, okay, well, what do I have that I can put on top of here? And I just, I don't know. I just said, you know what, why don't I do a cross? Um, you know, this is something that's gonna be in a graveyard. So this kind of seemed like the most appropriate topper for this fountain column. So there you go, just a simple cross cut out of XPS foam, textured a little bit, and that's it right there. So I had a bunch of these uh, mini skulls. These are Citadel skulls. I had a bunch of them and I thought, you know what, what if the water was coming out from either their mouth or just directly underneath the skull. So I put it on each side of the column, glued it on, and that's basically where the water is going to come from. So that there is a little bit of Mod Podge and black paint. Waited till that dried and then started to paint this more of a stone gray color. So painted all the inside of it, painted the actual column there, and then I went to work and I used a really, really watered down um, acrylic paint. I used three different colors, a brown, a green, and a red. And just kind of did that all over the place again so you have a breakup of the pattern so it's not just gray and it looked it looked really good. After that was all dry the famous black wash came out and black washed this whole thing. And again this gives depth, this gets in all the crevices Hey everybody, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go back to the video. So after that was done, I took the advice of uh, one commenter on another video that I had. And instead of just painting the bottom of this blue, uh, I, I textured it. I, I used different layers of different colors of blue just to give this a little bit more depth, a little bit more breakup of the pattern. So it, it turned out pretty good by, by doing that. So uh, let that dry and then went to work here just doing some dry brushing on the column, on the cross, making that look all pretty. And that turned out again really well. You know, when you have those little bit of colors underneath, you, you, you really mute them, but at the same time, it, they still show through and it really looks good. So as you can see there, just positioning it and getting it glued down. And that's looking really cool already. So here is how I did the running water. So I just used some UV resin and then as you can see there, just did some lines 
uh, cured them up and then I used some scissors just to shape them a little bit because they were a little bit too wide. Uh, I wanted a point on the one end coming from the skulls themselves. So I just took some scissors, cut that to make it look a little bit more realistic, I guess you could say. So here I am, just mixed up a little bit of resin, added a little bit of green, a little bit of blue to the resin, and then just poured it in. And this was just a little bit of resin. You know, I didn't, didn't want it to come up too, too far. And then as you can see there, those are the UV resin pieces that I made. Added a little bit of resin to the top, and with the light, basically just cured it onto the project. So I did that on all four sides. Used some straws just to hold them in a, in a more even way. Let that sit overnight and turned out great. All right guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. We'll see you later.